Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Levels Daily Devotional Podcast. The Open Levels is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Hie Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I pray that as you listen to today's episode, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's study the Word of God together. Today, October 15th, year 2024, the title of our open levels today is Wisdom. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we say thank you for your grace, for your strength. Thank you for the word that you have sent to us today. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even as we study your word, speak to us in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that at the end of the today's devotion, Lord, we pray that our lives will not remain the same in Jesus' name, that we will be wiser and better in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Our memory verse is from Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 and it says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding. Our Bible passage for today is from Proverbs 1 from verse 20 to 33 and it says, Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main streets, to those gathered in front of the city gates. How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone, and anguish and distress overwhelm you. When they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me. For they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore, they must eat the bitter fruit of living their whole way, choking on their own skins. For simplicity turn away from me to death. Fools are destroyed by their own complacency. But all who listen to me, will live in peace, untroubled by fear of them. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's memory verse says that in everything you get, you must get wisdom. In other words, wisdom is the most important thing you can get. More interestingly, the Bible reading for today tells us that wisdom is crying in the streets. And that is Proverbs 1.20, which says, Wisdom cries without she utters her voice in the streets. Unfortunately, many people ignore the cry of wisdom and are not interested in her. People who do not heed the cry of wisdom usually suffer the consequences of being foolish and it may be too late by the time they realize it. For people who will let wisdom pour out her spirit on them and teach them her words, she always makes herself available, and they are tremendously blessed for it. I am sure you are asking yourself, how can I get wisdom? Psalm 111.10 says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you want to be wise, the place to start from is to fear God and prove that you fear Him. Proverbs 16.6 says that the fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. Every time people commit sin, they are simply displaying foolishness. Daniel 2.20-22 says that it is God who gives wisdom to the wise. If a fellow does not have a relationship with God, he or she cannot get wisdom. James 1.5 says, 
If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. The way to get wisdom is first to fear God, and then simply ask him for wisdom. It is as simple as that. Now, because wisdom is the correct application of knowledge, the limit to your wisdom will be how limited you are in knowledge. As you ask God for wisdom, you must also increase in knowledge so that you will keep increasing in wisdom. This is why I am always reading books. I want to learn something new every day, even if I have to ask someone to teach me. Beloved, wisdom indeed is the principal thing. Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians 1.24 And you must accept him as your Lord and Savior if you want to be wise. Hallelujah. We give glory to God for the word he has sent to us today. It's talking about wisdom. The Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all that getting, get understanding. I love one of the scriptures I can never forget, thanks to my days in the BSF, is that Jesus is the wisdom and the power of God. That scripture always echoes the fact that when you have Jesus, when you dwell more within him, when you allow his words to fill you, you get more wisdom. You have more wisdom. And that is why I say that to really, really get wisdom, to know more, you need to dwell more. With God, you need to dwell more with Jesus. And our Father in the Lord has also noted the fact that you read more books, read more. When you want to get wisdom, read more. And not just in terms of, let's say, um, career or the knowledge of science or other things. No, I'm talking about now wisdom in areas that science cannot cannot even imagine. You know, there are some things that go beyond science. There are some life applications where you need, the, the, let me say, advice, where you need counsel, when you want to do something. And science cannot make those decisions for you. And at that point, you need wisdom that transcends what the world can give. And when you do more with the Holy Spirit, you have more wisdom. And even the, the Bible says that there is also the spiritual gift of the word of wisdom, where you speak words of wisdom like. The Bible spoke about Ahithophel that every word that comes out from his mouth is as if it came out from the mouth of God. And the Father and the Lord has emphasized the fact that to get wisdom is first by fearing God. When everyone does evil, don't do the evil. Like Joseph said, Would I do this thing and sin against God? Not against my master, but against God. So he ran away from that evil to Get to that future that God wanted for him. And the second way, the Father the Lord said, ask for wisdom. Ask God for wisdom. And also, do your part of learning, of getting more knowledge, of moving close with God, of having a relationship with the Holy Spirit. And you'll see yourself have wisdom that even when you speak, you will not believe it. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Then our prayer point for today says, Father, please give me wisdom. Can we pray that Lord Jesus, I ask for wisdom. You said that if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask. Today I am asking you and I believe that you will give me wisdom in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Her hymn for today is Ancient Words. A Bible in one year is from Mark 8 to 9. Shalom. Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Levels Daily Devotional Podcast. The Open Levels is written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor Hie Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I pray that as you listen to today's episode, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's study the Word of God together. 